All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to clone a lemon tree. I grew this one from seed and I've cloned it a bunch. You can propagate it just from a leaf. And I just put one outside in my backyard in a vlog and cloned a bunch of these in a vlog, but I specifically wanna make this video that's just educational on how I like to do it. I use Rockwell cubes and a little yogurt cup so that when the roots grow, they don't combine with any of the roots of the plants nearby. And you could just put it straight into water or a different grow media of your choice, but I just personally like rock wool. So I like to count about four growth nodes down from the top. That's where leaves are coming out of. So we got one, two, three, four. It doesn't have to be the top of the plant. You could do a branch. One, two, three, four, and we'll take right there. So there's gonna be too many leaves for the plant to hydrate. So we like to clip to help it hydrate smaller leaves. If the plant starts to droop, just take the leaves. So I was saying in the vlog, let's say I planted it just like this and this leaf started to droop. It's just because it's having trouble staying hydrated. So a humidity dome can help and clipping the leaves shorter or taking some of them off. So just like that looks pretty good. The leaf on the bottom here, we pull off to get as much growth hormone as we can because that's going to be where some fresh growth hormone is. And I plant that just like that in a rock wool cube. I shove it down in there. So I'm going to add just fresh water to it and after a couple weeks under the humidity dome, I do 12-12 light schedule. It should come up with some roots and I'll show some examples of it right now. But like I was saying, you could plant just from a leaf so I could just stick this leaf straight into a rock wool cube like I did with these down here. And I have some working. You could leave the leaf whole, and I've tried that as well. The remaining leaves left over, you can use to boil and put in like a diffuser because they smell really, really, really good. Um, you can drink them in a tea. Uh, I've tried it and it makes me really sleepy and it's kind of bitter, but it helps if you're trying to go to sleep. And I personally just like to boil them and put them in the diffuser so that the house smells really nice and make a bunch of it out of it. But I'm not going to do that in this video. Uh, I'm just going to go show you guys the clones that worked upstairs and the ones that we just transferred to outside. And I really hope that helps. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I want to be as helpful as possible in helping you guys get your lemon trees cloned. And yeah, I grew this one from seed. I'll show a little compilation of its life and hydroponically for the last two years almost. So all my trees are from seed and all my plants are. So let me show you guys that and thanks for watching. Sometimes I get questions about like, can you just flood them all the way? Yeah, because there will still be enough oxygen in the water and the cube should aerate it enough. But yeah. I have that strawberry clone I was talking about here. We got some roots coming out of the bottom. If it were to droop at all, I could just trim the leaves like I did with the lemon clone. So same sort of thing. The Rockwell cube offers no nutritional value. It just helps aerate the soil. So I'm going to put all those under humidity dome. We got some under here that already have taken root and I'll show videos of the one I transferred outside. This one could be ready for transfer. I'm just kind of waiting for it to start to grow again. And then if we look down in this one, I propagated a whole leaf. And then right here, I did half a leaf. Got some root right there. This one's drooping a little bit. I probably should take a leaf there. And this one's only curved because it hit the side of the dome. And that one actually has a pretty big root coming out of the back of it too. You see that? It's kind of tough. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah. So I hope that helps. I hope you guys join us in the vlog for us transferring the one into the backyard. So like I was saying, you could use some rooting compound like a gel or like aloe vera. There's a powders and a bunch of different stuff, but I think I get better results without it and I've cloned a bunch of plants, so I'm just gonna stick to using just water. So you can see this is the lemon clone I put outside. Just put it next to the apricot tree and a bunch of strawberries I have right there. So one question I see a lot of people ask is, will it still produce fruit from a cutting or a clone? It will, it's the same genetics as the plant mother was. And 
This is one of the best ways to keep the genetics of a plant because sometimes when you plant from seed, you won't always get the same genetics. The next day, here are the clones we took. You can see them perking up. They're actually not drooping. And I put them under the light right away. I guess some questions about if you can do that and how much light. I use a lux detector. These emit about 3,000 lux, where one of my grow lights emit around 80,000. But by the time it gets down to the plants, it's usually about 20,000, which is pretty good. But for a clone, might be too much. I have a lemon clone down here. It's doing okay, but honestly, it would probably be doing better if I put it in less than 10,000 lux. Like, these are pretty good around 3,000 to 5,000 lux. I have a list of all the products I use on my kit down below. I affiliate for them on Amazon, so any products that you purchase directly help out the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. But I didn't want to make this video about products, just in case you're interested on this Lux detector. It really helps with cloning plants and knowing how much light they're getting. In case you don't have a humidity dome and you're just using the sunlight or something, or you want to use a grow light but just not right underneath it. They're ready for transfer when the roots are sticking out a couple inches long. Like I want to reiterate the point that this one's ready for transfer. Sometimes I just wait for new growth and I add nutrient water that I keep in my fridge to keep it cold and dark and fresh. But you don't have to wait for them to sprout new growth, and some of them may not, like these leaves, unless there's some nutritional value in there. So, just the roots being a couple inches long is good enough for transfer, because that means they're ready to receive nutrients. You don't have to wait for new growth, I just want to reiterate that. Algae can be considered nutrients for the plants, and a little bit of algae is okay but it consumes the oxygen in the water and will choke the plant out and even can kill the plant. And I've had a lot of plants die to algae. So if the water gets nasty, just make sure you change it. And if it gets algae on it, don't worry too much because usually by the time they're ready for transfer, the algae hasn't gotten too strong and it should be all right. But you can keep it in the dark or squirt it off with a squirt bottle if you get bad algae, since algae dies in the dark. But at the end of the day, it's not something you really want around because it consumes a lot of the oxygen, even if it is a little bit of nutrients. This method of propagation and cloning can be used with a bunch of different kind of plants. I really appreciate you making it this far in the video. If you're interested in our vlog, I'm putting that one out next. And in my hydroponic plants playlist, I cover everything I can in vlog style and educational style format. So have a great day and I really appreciate you.